Now, in this next part, we've got to estimate to one decimal place the value of the median speed of the cars in the sample. And again, I think this is still a question that I haven't actually seen before many times in histograms. So it's a good one to try. So if you'd like to do that, just pause the video and uh, come back when ready and we'll run through the solution. OK, welcome back if you had a go. Now, if we're trying to find the median speed of the cars in the sample, first of all, we're dealing with group data. So what we've got to do is we've got to estimate what it is going to be. And the median then will be the middle value. Now, because we're dealing with group data and we've got 450 cars, we're looking for halfway between here. If it was discrete data, I would normally add one and then divide by two. But because it's continuous data and a large number, we don't tend to do that. So the middle value will be the 225th vehicle. So I construct a diagram, as you would have seen if you've been watching many of my other videos on estimating the median for group data. I draw a class interval, something like this, OK? And the 225th vehicle will fall in this interval in here because we've got 30 vehicles which have a speed less than or equal to the 20 miles per hour. And so the 225th vehicle must fall into this category here. So I'm going to say mark this, this interval here from 20 up to 30. I don't need to reduce this by 0.5 or increase this by 0.5 because as you can see the edges of this block here go directly to 20 and directly to 30. So that's my class interval and I know that I've got 30 vehicles which are less than the 20. I'm going to mark that actually in blue, okay? 30 that are less than 20. But you've got to take care here because how many vehicles have got a speed less than the 30? It's 240 and this 30 here. In other words, 270 vehicles. Now we're looking for the 225th vehicle, half of this number here. Where is it going to be on this number line or in this interval? It's going to be somewhere over here, closer to the 270 than it is to the 30. So I'm going to label that as 225. And that value there is the value that we're looking for, the median. And I'm going to say that that value then is Q2 for the median. Now, when we've done this diagram, the system that we use is very simple. All you've got to do is compare intervals, the widths of intervals. If I start by comparing this interval width from 20 to Q2, I compare it with the interval directly below it. In fact, I'll do that in a solid line like that, OK? And then I'm going to do much the same again. I'm going to say that that ratio is exactly the same as comparing the width from 20 to 30 with the width going from 30 to 270. So I've kept it kind of color coded just so that hopefully it helps to show you the equation. So when we compare green the green parts together, the widths, we've got Q2 minus 20. Q2 minus 20. That's the width of that top bit here. We compare it, that's to divide it by the width below, which is from 30 to 225, but I just subtract those to get that width. So that's 225 minus 30. And this is exactly the same as comparing the width from 20 to 30. I know that's a gap of 10 units, but I'm going to show the sum anyway. 30 minus 20. Compare that now to the width from 30 to 270. So 
we just do 270 minus 30. And all we've got to do now is just rearrange this to make Q2 the subject. Well, we've got Q2 minus 20, okay. 225 minus 30 is 195. So I'm going to times both sides by 195. So we've got to times this uh, fraction here by 195. Well, 30 take 20 is 10. And 270 take 30 is 240. And I'm multiplying that by the result of 225 minus 30, which is 195. Work this out and add 20 to both sides and you end up with Q2 equaling 28.125. Right? And that's our estimated median speed. So hope you're familiar with this idea. If not, you, as I say, you can always go on my website, examsolutions.net, check out how you can work out the median then for continuous data.